Cosmic Secrets of Murthanjam Episode 9 In this topic I am going to talk about How to tune your Murthanjam Sruti Chayuta Elaga In the last episode I spoke about 18 qualities of Murthanjam player now onwards, I am going to talk about each quality in detail in one episode and today's episode, I am going to talk about tuning the Mridangam. Shruti Elaga Chayali Shruti Mata Laya Pitaha We all know that the basis of this creation is Mother, Cosmic Mother, who is Paranjyoti, Nadeshwari, Nada Shakti, the first primordial energy or Nada is called Om. Om Nada, we can say. In Vedas, Shruti is defined as that to be heard means one has to sink their senses and awareness with this Shruti or the cosmic Nada or Para Nada to merge with that cosmic light. This is the spiritual secret of Shruti. So from the Shruti one has to merge means what? Layam means what in sync, means what in align. So one has to match with the cosmic light through this tuning. Means what one has to tune their attitude, awareness to get the ultimate oral experience. That is the spiritual secret. Coming to our Murdangam, how do we tune the instrument? First of all, we need a bass pitch which can be played through Thambura instrument and uh, we know we have seven bass pitches A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They are seven which can be correlated to Saptaswaras, Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni which can be connected to seven chakras muladhara chakra is sa and sahasrara chakra is ni sa ri ga ma pa da ni means it's all the spiritual concept between a and b we have a sharp that is nothing but one more pitch so we have to first of all set the pitch in tampura according to the instrument then we have to tune or we have to align or we have to sing the pitch for instance i am playing the tampura i am setting the c sharp pitch this is c sharp pitch first of all one has to listen to this pitch with the closed eyes for 5 to 10 minutes to understand or to get the feel of that particular Shruti and invite into the subconscious mind. Then we have to set the instrument. So it is not in tune it is a little bit high. How do we know whether it is high or low that comes through experience and proper listening, concentrated listening to that Shruti. If it is more, then I have to correct by hitting this side, which what here. Like this I have to hit if it is low then I have to increase it for that I have to hit like this 
so it is more now i am reducing it yes it is perfectly set yes definitely i can feel the sound it is in sync and it is properly aligned with the thampura nada not only that left side also we have to shown the mridangam when you say left side suppose this is sa then this can be below sa or it can be sometimes pa also that's your terminations it should be in tune with this pitch a sa pa sa pa so the right side and left side both are in tune so that it will be matched with the, the tune of the thampura so the main artist singer the instrument violin and mridangam when we are all in sync with that nada then om nada is produced and the concert is called om meditation and the audience who are listening to this show or this concert will be participating in this nada meditation and collectively we are all doing nada meditation and uh, we get the bliss so for the happy and blissful life one has to merge with the cosmic nada and uh, enjoy the bliss that is the spiritual secret if the tuning is not able to be done properly one has to tighten this war and also sometimes we can put these sticks still to tighten here so that tuning can be done if at all the sound is not that good still you want to produce the fine refined sound we can also put this powder this is called iron powder which we can put this is a powder it's nothing but a powder iron powder which you can put here this so that sound will be getting the perfect sound will be getting i have already put it that's why we are getting this beautiful sound if we listen to that tone then we will get tremendous energy disciplined mind concentration and multitasking power when we say multitasking see the main singer the main artist is doing the multitasking in the concepts they have to remember the melody scale of the raga rhythm shruti they should not miss rhythm beat they should not miss bhava they should not miss lyrics also they should not miss at the same time they have to even present their skill and knowledge and get the applause from the audience all these things are called multitasking in the same way when the mridangam artist is playing he has to get the multitasking capability that will be tremendously improved when you are connected and when you are in sync with that shruti that is the mridangam player has to 
टू लिसन टू द सॉन्ग एंड ही हैज टू प्ले विदाउट मिसिंग द बाबा ही हैज टू एंश्योर दैट इट इज मृदंगम इज इन द करेक्ट पिच ही हैज टू प्ले ऑल रिजम इन अ बैलेंस्ड वे ही हैज टू इवन प्रोड्यूस द स्किल्स he has to even present the skills and apply the knowledge to receive the applause from the audience at the same time the balance displaying should be there so that it will be giving the comfort to the main artist all these tasks are running internally called multitasking nature so this shruti will give you the concentration and uh, multitasking capability if the murdaka nada is tuned perfectly with the tambura nada then tremendous vibration energy and uh, currents will be produced from this nada you can also use the pitch pipe like this for setting the pitch for the instrument here if you observe there are seven main points a b c d e f g so you can set correct pitch as per your requirement and uh, tune your instrument so this pitch pipe for example for instance i am setting c sharp yes it is perfectly tuned this is one technique of tuning instrument with pitch pipe the seven pitches can be correlated to the spiritual drivers in our life which are bhakti jnana yoga mantra dhyana nirvana samadhi so the seven states what we have are nothing but seven pitches in our music